Hey everybody, this is Rizion from Inquisitor.org and in this video I want to share with you how I implement work session analytics so that you can find some interesting bits for your project and learn from my experience. Let's jump in. The first appearance of the feature is on the landing page. The main value proposition of the feature is to have your perfect workday. So that's what we have in the title of this block. Then we add some subtitle that enforce the feature. Here we try to focus on the emotional state. The first one is know where the time goes and actually the feature does provide this. You can see how much time is spent on different projects every day. Then is feel empowered by your discipline. So when you track your time, you see this report and if you really put into work, you feel empowered. And the last one is whoa, how are you so prolific? If you work at a physical location, you would go there, do your work, then go home and have your quality rest time. But in case of remote work, some people find themselves stretching the work for the whole day, not doing very quality work, and also not having quality rest time. I believe Increaser can help you improve work-life balance by providing actionable data you can use to improve your workday structure week by week. The homepage already has a timeline with today's sessions, but that's not enough. Because of that, I added the analytics page with more detailed information. People already used to calendars, so I didn't reinvent the wheel and use similar layout. We have the radio group component at the top that allows you to switch between different days. On the right side, we provide detailed information on that day. So let's take a look at Saturday. It's a weekend and I don't work that much. So I started it at 9.30 and finished work at 5.25. The total is 2 hours 48 minutes and an average session is 21 minutes. I did content, reflections and reading. Then we can look at workday, let's say Monday, and here I started at 5.25. So we have different information here. We can see that with every day I started waking up later and started work session later. But on Friday I woke up super early. The most obvious next step would be to promote an early start of a work day. So let's say your goal is to start work at seven, you would set a goal and then we'll have analytics on how you perform toward this goal. On the front end we have a day report component and it requires a context. So here we have daily report context and here we have days, selected day index, function to select a day, and projects record. We need to have a context because the feature is used in two places. First on the landing page with the mock data and second time in the app itself. So in the app we have current week daily report provider. Here we take current week sets, get current week day and then projects record. After that we go over each day and create proper structure. The component consists of two smaller components. The first one is grouped by day sessions and the second one is day report. So if you look at group by day sessions, we can see here that we use this fancy component called our space. This component renders those lines and I use it actually in two places. So the first time in on this feature and another time on the focus page with a timeline for today. The container here is a flex box with space between and then we go over every hour and render this whole thing. And after that, we render the content inside of this hour space. The day report component show information about the selected day. So we take days and selected day by index from the context. And I use this approach. So basically we use context. And then if there is no context, show an error. So here we know for sure that the context is present. Then we take uh, project total, order project based on the total value and render this information. Here we have a single value statistic, a component that displays name and value, and then a simple name list with projects. That's all, stay productive.